I want uh, Judges 2 and 10. Judges 2 and 10. Then to be a king of a vast domain then be held in sin's dark sway I'd wrap the have Jesus then in This world affords this world affords I just remembered that song this morning from my childhood my pastor used to sing that song it used to sound so sad <laughs> so pensive but the older I got, the more I appreciated that song. I know a lot of you don't know it, but you can learn it. Learn all that other stuff. Then to be a king, a king of a vast domain, of a vast domain. Then to be held, then be held in sin's dark sway. In sins, dark sway. Hey, hey. I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus than anything. Than in this world affords today. Now, if you really mean that, how many would rather have Jesus? Look at your neighbor and say, I'd rather have Jesus. Open your mouth wide and tell them, Then to be a king of a vast Lord man, then to be held in sin starts way, then be held. I'd rather have Jesus than anything, than anything this world, I'd like to say it one more time, a force, and I want you to love on him this time, hold your hands up to heaven and tell him, then to be Then be held in sin's dark sway. I'd rather have Jesus than in anything. This world affords today. You may be seated. Tell somebody I really would rather have a man. Look back at him and say, who else would I have? I'm going to move on, but look at him one more time and say, and who else would have me?
Go glory. I don't know about y'all. I don't even know why he wants me. Oh, bless his name. And there arose another generation after them. You may be seated, which knew not the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. For we who are the hearers, and by faith the doers on today. I started in the B section of verse 10 of the second chapter of the book of Judges. I'll read it again. It says, and there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord. Since there's nobody here but who? It means we can read it as many times as we want. I just want to read it a third time. But this time, let's read it aloud in unison. Now, the, they have the new King James text up there. I'm reading this time from the King James text, if there's some difference. But it says, and there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord. I just want to use one word today as a message title, and I'm going to be brief. Um, but the word I want is confused. It means uncertainty about what is happening, intended, or required. Uncertainty about what is happening, intended, or required. Somebody just say that with me. Uncertainty about what is happening, intended or required. And that is the definition in Oxford's English Dictionary of what confused is. I'm in a very familiar passage of scripture this morning and it's the early stages of the book of Judges. Of course, Judges is um, what I oftentimes call a transitional book. It really is a, a, a book in its own right that is perplexing. It's a little confused. When you read Judges, you're sort of slipping and sliding all over the place. Um, Israel is yet gelling yet coming into its own as a people and as a, a nation. They're not fully solidified, at least in the, in the depths of their own mind. Still haven't come to terms with who they are, who God has called them to be. They're wrestling, they're in crises. Might even say they're in an identity crisis. They don't really know who they are and, have not fully embraced God's call in their life. And so in Judges, it's really a chronicling of disorder, of chaos. I read Judges sometime and my mind is just mesmerized. It's shifting all over the place, trying to follow the different characters. You ever read the Bible and have difficulty with the storyline? You already have to wrestle with the arcane language if you're tethered to the King James Bible. Of course, I learned how to get some other translations to help me because I, I found out that God didn't write the King James text either. It's just the text we grew up with and that we're accustomed to. But sometimes I struggle with the these and thouest and ifeth and and so I learned how to get a little help and 
opened some of those other Bibles and set it beside the thee and thou. And I found out that thou means you. <laughs> and you works too. Did y'all know that? You. Um, it, 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 but even then sometimes the stories of the Bibles are difficult. Long genealogies. So and so begat so and so and so and so begat so and so. You know, I, when you try to read through the Bible, you just say, Lord, have mercy, help me get through this part. But everything has a purpose. Everything has a reason. Uh, Sometimes the slow progression of the storyline is, is part of God's divine plan. And maybe sometime when the Bible slows us down with details, God is, is telling us that sometime I slow your life down. Because I'm trying to work out some details in your life. If you're in too big of a, a hurry, you'll, you won't see the fine print of what I'm up to. As I try to make you and develop the storyline of your life. Uh, it, it, it's not straight. Sometimes the Bible, I say, takes the circuitous route. Takes the long way around sometimes to make a point. And we pick up uh, all of what I call ancillary parts along the way. But it takes all of those ancillary parts to make the puzzle fit and the puzzle work. He, he teaches us something just in the cadence of scripture. And Judges is one of those books, I think, that helps our minds to, to understand just how God works. You, you, did you know God works in the chaos, in the chaotic state of our life? He's, he's working and, and sometimes he... He lets us flow in the chaos, amen, so that we can get tired enough of it to reach out and ask him to come in and bring order. He, he, he always has been in the chaos. He has been in the chaos ever since the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I wish I had somebody praying for me today. Amen. That's what, what it was. I know it was, it was, it was probably right then, but... But then the Bible says that, but the earth was what? Boy, amen. And darkness uh, was where? On the face of the deep. And then God said, after the void, after the emptiness, after the darkness. I, I, I wish I had somebody receive it, but the Lord, because somebody is in one of those places, empty or dark place. But the Lord said, my word is getting ready to speak into your life getting ready to speak and turn things around and bring you out. But Judges reflects the chaos of earlier that God just works in chaotic conditions and, and Israel is in turmoil in Judges. Um, shouldn't have been, but they were in turmoil because they deviated from God's plan and went down their own pathways. Israel, uh, when I look at them in Judges, they were balkanized and Balkanized. I'm saying they were separated in two little pockets. Amen. They didn't understand that God wanted them to work together. Kind of like today's church. Separated our little pockets in, in organizations. And can I get a witness? All our churches sometimes separated in little pockets. Councils sometimes separated in little pockets. We're, we're holier than that council. And, and I'm holier than them. You... Your role might be balkanized. Person next to you probably think they got more Holy Ghost than you. Been praying, they've been, you don't know it, they've been praying about you the whole service. Save them, Lord. Save them. Save them. <laughs> Save them. You know, he got to help us. He got to help us. He really has to help us. He really has to help us. We, we have to help uh, he has to help us how we think about one another. And I'm glad that God has me connected with Bishop Brooks and men like him who are, who are coming to understand that we're in this thing together. We're not, you know, we're in it together. We should be coordinating our forces together, not seeing how we can be more divisive and, and how I can stand in my own little realm of the kingdom and and how I can be the boss in my own little fiefdom. Amen. But, but, but we need to learn how to coordinate ourselves together. You know, sometimes I wonder, 
when will we learn from Israel? When will, we, when will we read the Bible and actually learn? We read it, but we don't learn. We, we read it. It's strange. We, we can discern each other, but we can't discern the word. We, we can't understand the point that the Bible is making out. Did you not know? And that's why you need to read the Old Testament. I know there's some preachers that, 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 that tell you uh, Old Testament is too much this and too much that. No, it's God's word. And, it, and the Bible says that these things were written for our ensembles. Amen. You, you, you know, it's, it's a shame to get stuck on stupid. To do, why would I do what I saw somebody else do? And it didn't work out for them. Can I get a witness in here? Being divided didn't work out for them. Fighting each other didn't work out for them. Living in separate pockets didn't work out for them. They had to understand that, 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 that God wanted to bring us together. I'm going to tell y'all something. He was using that pandemic. Trying to teach us that we need one another. Spend so much time fighting one another. He, he had to shut us in and shut us down. Trying to tell us don't come back to the building still fighting. Don't come back to the convocation still fighting. Trying to tell us it's, it's, it's time for us to work together. Because we need one another. The, the world don't love us. The world loveth its own. And, and if the world loveth its own and the devil is against us, why would we do the devil's work for him? If we bite and devour one another. Take heed that we be not consumed one of another. I need somebody. I, you ain't bothered your neighbor, but tell somebody, I need you. I, I need you. I don't need you. Need you. Did you tell them that? Did you mean it when you said it? And, and then tell them this. You ain't got to be just like me for me to need you. I don't need you to be just like me. Because if you just like me, if you're just like me, I really don't need you because I already got me. I need somebody different from me that can fill in where I can't fill in. Help me get together where I can't get together. We, we have to start thinking, of, have to start working together, coordinating together. And, and Judges is, is trying to teach us that. They, they should have knew by now. They should have knew it's a travesty in this text a travesty the biggest words in this text the the words that are most tra that are most um tragic is no not right. shouldn't be there you can read it again on your own in judges 2 and 10 knew not knew not why didn't they know why didn't they know they should have knew but they knew not should have understood but they understood not why didn't they no, this is the same Israel we read about from, from Genesis where God calls them out. And I'm not going to walk through all of that because you're astute uh, Bible students in this room. You know the story, but what I call the saga of Israel. You know that story in Genesis. It starts in Genesis 11 and how uh, God called them out, really called Abraham out of confusion. Uh, Abraham, because he wasn't nobody when God called him. He wasn't nobody. Did y'all hear what I said? He wasn't nobody. Some of us act like we were somebody when he saved us. Like, like we deserve salvation. Nobody deserves salvation. You know, I've always reminded us. And can I remind us again? Stop, stop bragging on what you wasn't when you wasn't saved. Stop, you know, as if I'm better than somebody else. If you wasn't saved, you just wasn't saved. Amen. You just... You just missed out on some fun that somebody else had. That doesn't mean you're better than nobody else. You were still headed for hell. Can I get a witness in here? Abraham didn't deserve salvation. You and I didn't deserve salvation. God just selected him. Picked him out. Called him out, didn't he? Went down in the land. Oh, we, like, we preachers like to declare it the land of the Erdi, of the Chaldeans. And called Abram out and said, get thee out. 
we like to talk about that. But uh, Abraham would have never got out if God hadn't pulled him out. Can I get a witness? In? Everybody tell somebody, I'm here because he snatched me out. I'm here. That's the only reason I made He hadn't snatched me out. I'd still be out there. He hadn't came where I was. I'd still be out there. That old, that old hymn of the church, my father used to sing it all the time. The verse says, he called me long before I heard, before my sinful soul was stirred. But when I took him at his word, forgiven, he lifted me from sinking sand. He, he lifted me with tender hands. He lifted me from shades of night to plains of light. Oh, praise his name. I don't know why you won't praise him. I don't, want, I don't know why you won't thank him. Somebody ought to, ought to tell God, thank you for giving me a lift. When, when nobody else let me ride, you let me ride. When, when nobody else come where I was, you came where I was. When, when nobody else associate with me, when nobody else would feel what I feel, you went to Calvary so you could be touched with the feeling of my infirmity. Oh, I love him. How about y'all? Who loves him today? Ikaba, you may be seated. God. It was God and it was God that brought Abraham out. It was God that, 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 that brought him uh, into this other place. It was God that set him up. Thank God for the setup. Thank God for the setup. That, when the preacher preached that yesterday, thank you for the setup. He set Abraham up, didn't deserve none of it. Sarah didn't deserve none of it. He was a rascal after he got it, a liar. And Abraham, wasn't he? He did. Uh, lied twice and, and mistreated Hagar, family drama. We don't have time to go into all of that. Dynamics, using one another and carrying on. But God bless Abraham. And, 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 they, and they grew as a nation. They were uh, in the embryonic state. They were just little nomadic people uh, uh, that God was with. And they drifted around in the, in the land of uh, that God had brought to them that God had promised them and and we watch them go through different stages and different steps and and they go into Egypt that's what Exodus is about and and uh, Moses is, uh, raises up uh, to deliver them out of Egypt land and we know what the Bible tells us how God used Moses uh, this great prophet who was peerless probably only to Jesus Christ he was in a class all by himself don't underestimate Moses Moses was somebody somebody wasn't he a strange ending to his life I'm always mystified by by the ending of his life um, I don't know if he died just like us it was something a little different about him because when he died he went up in the mountain the Bible says and and nobody attended his funeral nobody he was just up there he was somebody special with God and I know he had to be special because uh, the devil showed up amen 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 he had to be special but not just because the devil showed up but Michael the archangel showed up because uh, he, he thought you know he was going to snatch Moses uh, I don't know why maybe because he you know Moses didn't sanctify God at the rock and then he thought he was all the way out with God and he came to claim him but but the Bible says Michael the archangel showed up and said Satan the Lord God rebuked thee claim claim him for himself he claimed him for God you need to tell somebody that I'm claimed for God the devil can't have me y'all y'all like like you're afraid to say look at somebody say it strong and say Say, the devil can't have me. Because God has already claimed me. He claimed me. I belong to him. I belong to him. I belong to him. I belong to him. I may have some struggles, but I still belong to him. Some of y'all afraid to say it. I may not be the best, but I still belong. His blood is on me. Blood is on me. And, 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 and so, I'm trying to get here real quick. And so... And so the Bible lets us know Moses did his job, brought him up out of Egypt land. 
He was he who God used. And, and of course, Israel uh, in the conundrum, we ought to learn from them. In the conundrum, they, uh, they, they didn't get where they should have gotten because they got stuck in the wilderness. They didn't, they didn't believe God when they got to the wilderness of Kadesh Barnea. And the Bible lets us know they could have went right over. Amen. But they believed the report. The Hebrew writer had to write about them. They took that evil report and he said, so we see then that they could not enter in because of unbelief. The word preached did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith uh, in their heart. And so they got stuck in the wilderness and became murmurers and complainers. Murmurs and complainers. Some, some of us uh, didn't come through the pandemic in, with, with stellar colors. We were murmuring and complaining. Fussing, fussing, because you shut in when you should have been glad I'm still alive. Fussing, 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 fussing about stuff. You still got money, getting checks, and you didn't even go to work. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Got PPP money. Fussing. Murmuring and complaining. They didn't know how to be grateful. Didn't know how to be thankful. And, and God was keeping them all the time. Do you know the devil will blind your eyes? God is blessing you. You won't even know you're blessed. God is working for you. You don't even know that he's working for you. I may not have the house I plan to get, but I still got a house. Still got a car. You know, I wish I had five people that would thank the Lord for what I got right now. Wow, I wish I had you in church. Hallelujah. You, you, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord, but on your way down, tell somebody, I'm grateful for what I got now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't care. I don't care if I live in the projects. At least it ain't the street. I'm glad for I, I'm not, I ain't worried about what somebody else got I'm just glad that God is still looking out for me I got shoes on my feet I got clothes on my back God we got we got to learn how to, to be grateful be grateful be great everybody gently tell you be grateful be be grateful be be grateful you some of y'all sitting in here mad because you missed breakfast you eat again be grateful be grateful that devil is a mess you can't get in service because i'm hungry you will eat again be grateful be thankful to thankful to the lord grateful to the lord praise god from whom all blessings flow my god and so uh, uh, they, they, they missed out they didn't get to go over you may be seated i'm not gonna be long they didn't get to go over and 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 then all of that stuff went down i don't want to get lost in that story all that stuff went down and 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 and, and moses got messed up fooling with him that's how we got to the scene up in the mountain and, and 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 then he goes and joshua comes on the scene and 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 we know the story of joshua he's the young man along with caleb that stood up in that generation when others didn't believe god they said we're well able Amen. And go over and possess the promised land. And, and, and then the Bible lets us know. Amen. They finally got over to, to possess the promised land. What a journey that must have been. What an odyssey that must have been. How many times did God show up for them? How many ways did God make for them? How many times did he sweeten the water? You know, we read about one time, but I'm sure he sweetened it many times. Took the bitter water and made it sweet. What kind of God is this that, that gives you clothes that don't wear out for 40 years? What, what kind of God? What kind of God? What kind of God is this? Until when they got hungry and, and cried out to him. Amen. He set up a, a smorgasbord bakery in the middle of a desert. And the Bible said they did eat angels' food. A manna from on high. Oh, yeah, some of y'all don't know how many times the angels fed you. You don't know how many times. I, can I get a witness in here? Tell your neighbor, you don't know how many times the angels showed up for you. Oh, made a way for you when, when, when there was no way. He, he just did it for them. And, and then the Bible says, but yet they murmured and yet they complained. And now 
Here comes Joshua who takes them, praise God, across uh, the Jordan River and they get over to the other side and, and you would have thought they would have been settled by now. He, he reiterates what Moses has said. Moses reiterated his teaching from earlier but Israel was, was yet clowning and yet uh, uh, contorted and yet confused. I'm almost through. They were yet mixed up. They're, 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 they were, you ever notice how spasmodic they were? On and off and up and down and on and off and up and down like some of these church members. On and off. Up and down. And I'm with you, pastor. I'm against you, pastor. And, uh, you, know, I, 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 you know, I've learned some stuff in this pandemic. I, I've learned, I've learned who's loyal and who ain't loyal. I, I've learned who's real, who ain't real. I, you, know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not like some of you brothers and sisters. Nothing happened in your church during the pandemic. I, I've had folk to leave me and didn't even tell me they was gone. Just, just walked out, walked out. Church officials just left. They still have yet to tell me they gone. Y'all ain't had none of that, but, but that happened in my church, so... So while you tripping, I'm tripping too. I, 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 you know, I can't figure out I, what, what, what's going on. People, people not loyal. People not faithful. And, and, and it takes some of that to show it. That, and that sometimes it's the folk you've done the most for. That you've done all you could to help them. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I, I had a man. I told him I don't want nobody ever to tell me they love my soul no more. Because the brother that told me I love your soul, that's the one that left. He walked out. Walked out the door. Y'all ain't saying nothing, but he, but he loved my soul. Y'all ain't saying nothing, but now my soul can't find him. Uh, something wrong. Can I talk here today? There's something, something wrong, wrong with that picture. But these are the are the times in in which we live, and it's here in the Bible. We shouldn't be caught off guard. Israel, Israel. They didn't appreciate God. They, didn't, they weren't grateful to God. Uh, 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 they should have learned some things through all of that history. Through all of that history, it, it should have brought them closer to God. Should have turned their minds toward God. But yet, the Bible says there arose, what, another generation after them, which what, knew not God, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel, what that don't make sense. They should have known it. They should have understood it. And I, I've been wrestling with this, uh, and I was wondering if I could preach it today because I wanted to have a, I wanted to have a happy message. I wanted to make the convention happy this morning. We've been gone three years. I, I want to make y'all happy and make us bounce today and and be glad today. We don't, we've been gone three years, but 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 there's been some stuff going on and. There's, there's been a spirit of confusion running amok in the world. Can I get a witness? Amen. The children are confused. Maybe, maybe it's because the fathers ate sour grapes. I, maybe. Can I get a witness in here? Spirit of confusion that, that's in the church. We, we, we got church all twisted. We Israel, they, that's why they were twisted. You know, if you read down a few verses, go to the next verse. It says, and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of God and, and served Balaam. Y'all ain't hearing me. This is the people that God brought out of Egypt. Y'all ain't hearing me. These are the people that God delivered. Balaam didn't deliver them. God said, I brought you out with a strong and mighty hand. I did for you what nobody else could do. I showed up for you when your enemies wanted to kill you. I fought your battle. I dare you forget when you was boxed in at the Red Sea. Mountains were on either side. You didn't have weapons to fight. Pharaoh was closing in from behind. You panicked and said, what we gonna do? And I told you, stand still. Stand still. You shall see my salvation. You shall hold your peace. And I'll fight your battle. I need somebody to tell a neighbor, God is yet fighting for me. Celebrate that fact. But I can't fight for myself. He fights for me. I don't have to take out the vengeance. He said, vengeance is mine. I shall repay. 
Let me fight your battles. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. You may be seated. 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 Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor when when you just praised him that last time. God just gave the devil a right uppercut when you just praised him. Man. I dare you to praise him again. I dare you to give him two praises. Come on, Mosetia. Come on, Mosetia. Mosetia. What's going on? 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 I'm, I'm confused, saints. I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. God said, I've been working. I've been working with these people for, for generations. I'm confused. I've been with them for generations. I brought them out when they wasn't nobody. And I told them I chose you with intentionality. I didn't choose you because you were the largest or the biggest. I chose you because I, I thought I could count on you to let me shine out of you. That's why I chose you. That's, that's why I picked you. That's why I made you my choice and I made you my selection. And, and the Bible says the generations were gathered unto their fathers, but it ought to be all right. Previous generations are gone. I ought to be able to trust this generation because because I've been with them generation after generation how in the world can you have a generation of a, a Moses and then a generation of a Joshua and then you little rascals got nerve enough not to know God something, something wrong something wrong with that picture. how in the world can you be raised up in a sanctified house Have a mother and father that prayed and you got nerve enough to say there is no God the, the fool have said in his heart there is a God I need somebody he yet reigns on the throne something's something's wrong man. you may be seated for a second something something's wrong I got to close they they didn't know God and they didn't know the works that he had done for Israel and, and, and I was in a crisis last night a crisis this morning and I said maybe maybe we missed it somewhere maybe maybe one general maybe 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 we gave them too much maybe maybe we gave them everything but God maybe. you know and, 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 and somehow they got confused he said they didn't know God and they didn't know about his works and Maybe we need to bring testimony meeting back so, so they can know about his works. And maybe somebody don't know that, that he's yet able to save, that, that he can take you from the guttermost to the uttermost. Maybe, maybe we need to bring it back every now and then so, so we can understand that he still saves dope addicts and prostitutes and, and, and adulterers and fornicators. Maybe we need to bring it back something 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 got twisted y'all be seated for a second i'm trying to close the, 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 the children of israel catch this did evil in the sight lord don't let me get in trouble today they said they did evil in the sight of the lord and i'm not picking on one generation i'm talking to every generation talking to this generation and and you and, 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 and that are in the digital space they they did evil and somebody say israel did evil did evil in the sight of the Lord and they served Balaam and and I got to tell y'all what what I believe the Lord told me to tell us today we 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 messed around and we've started serving Balaam again and we're not serving God we, we we're experiencing we're experiencing syncretism in the church syncretism syncretism you go back and look up that theological term of syncretism and I'm gonna give my own spin syncretism is accommodation syncretism is going along to get along syncretism 
Syncretism. Syncretism. I wish somebody would tell me preach today. Uh, syncretism. Syncretism is, 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 is making room for other stuff. Syncretism. Syncretism. It, it, don't, it don't mean that God ain't there all together. Amen. But I, but I think God needs some help. And so, so syncretism means I bring other stuff in and, and, I, and I accommodate other religions. A little bit of Baalism, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. And, 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 but God said, besides me, there is none of I, 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 Who is that God that's not me? Amen. Who is he? Who is he? I did not teach you, they man, uh, when they took when they took Dagon and set him up beside me. Amen. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me today. Did not teach you when they put the Ark of the Covenant in the same space with Dagon. Amen. You know what they did? They left us up in the shed overnight. And when they came back the next the next day, Dagon was laying down. His hands were cut off. His head was cut off. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. There is no God besides me. So God, glory. He come by you. He come by you. No God. I need somebody to tell somebody. Ain't no God like our God. Ain't no, no God. No God. No God. No God like him. You may be seated. No God. No, 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 no God. None like you. None like you. I looked all over, couldn't find nobody. Nobody great. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. I had to knock him down because nobody's greater. The Lord told me to tell somebody I'm going to knock some stuff down today because nobody's greater. I'm going to shake some stuff up because nobody's greater. I'm going to shake things up until my people get a prayer life back because nobody's greater. If my people that are called by my name some of themselves and pray, then I'll heal from heaven. Forgive your sin. I'll heal the land. Oh, saints of God. Saints of God. You may be seated for a moment. Saints, saints of God. Saints of God. I didn't know how I was going to say this today. You know how I was going to articulate this today. They did evil in the sight of the Lord and they, they served Balaam. They served Balaam. They served Balaam. And can I preach like I want to? The Lord told me to tell you, we, some of us have been serving Balaam. 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 When they knew him as God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they thankful. And because of this, God turned them over. God, don't turn me over. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour. I wish somebody needed him like I need him. Every hour. Every hour. Somebody open your mouth. Lift your hand to heaven and say, God, I need you every hour. The church needs God. Our families need God. Our homes need God. We're trying to serve Balaam. Trying to serve Balaam. And that's why we're not as impactful as we want to be. Because we've abandoned the essence of what our fathers gave us. I'm not talking about stuff and things. And, and I'm not, I don't, I want you to hear me real good. I want to be balanced at this. I'm not deifying our fathers. They were fallible men. They had faults, they didn't do everything right, and some of those old mothers were mean. So don't get me twisted today. They had faults, they had frailties, just like all of us. But one thing they did do, they taught us about Jesus. I'm not worried 
worried about your earrings. I'm not worried about your makeup. I'm not worried about your blue jeans and I'm not worried about the shoes you wear. You can switch that up, but don't mess with my Jesus. That same Jesus, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. God have highly exalted him, given him a name above every other name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. to tell three people it's still Jesus don't stop till you tell three it's still Jesus it's still Jesus it's still Jesus Jesus in the morning Jesus at noonday Jesus at midnight I need Jesus every day in my spirit so I can pray so I can walk right so I can talk right If you don't want Jesus, you're confused. If you don't want Jesus, you're out of your mind. Hikaya! I'm sorry, but I hear him saying, I got to wake up, Bishop Coleman. I didn't understand all of it, but God said, I want my church back. for this church I shed my blood for this church please take your seat for a moment May I talk? Can I have can I have seven more minutes? He said they're serving Balaam. Little children. That's what John said. It's so short, we read right through it. It's not an Old Testament scripture. It's a New Testament scripture. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. The Lord wouldn't let me rest the last week or two. He said, we got idols in the church. Y'all pray I don't get in trouble. We're making idols out of these little singers. The church is no longer church. It's a nightclub. We've desecrated. We've desecrated the house of God. And we've taken entertainment and pretended it's church. The devil is a liar. Well, I'm going to get in trouble today. See, see, see. You should bless people. I like money. I like good, good offerings when I go preach. 
but I'm not a hireling. If you don't pay me another dime, I still got to preach. I wasn't hired, I was called by Jesus. Woe is me if I preach not the gospel. If I can't preach in your church, I'll preach in the street. He called me to preach the gospel. What do you mean you won't sing if you don't get paid? I'm going to get in trouble today. Now I know we got a concert. I'm going to support the concert. Matter of fact, how much the tickets cost? I'm going to buy 10 of them. I want you to bless somebody with them. I'm going to get in trouble though. But I got the mic right now. Y'all told me I was your presider. I got the gavel too. Tell y'all take it away. I got it. When you got to pay for it, it's entertainment. You ain't gonna say amen to that. You can't buy the gospel. You can't buy anointed worship. You can't buy anointed praise. When it's anointed, souls will get saved. When it's anointed, cancers will dry up. When it's anointed, rheumatism and heart trouble will get healed. He told me to tell you, I will not work where I'm not glorified. But if I be lifted up, draw me unto me. I need somebody to help me lift Jesus. Thank God for this anointed young man here. Stay anointed, Austin. Stay anointed, Lacey. Stay anointed, Lambert Gates Jr. Stay anointed, whoever is over in this corner. Your gift must never be for sale. If they bless you, let them bless you. But if they don't bless you, God said, I'll pay you. Don't nobody pay like God. He'll make your enemies bless you. I'm trying to close. I may not moan today. Is that all right? What we doing? Thank you, sir. Say it again. Thank you. I'm sick of it. I'm personally sick, but today I'm 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 speaking for the Lord. And the Lord told me I'm I'm sick of it. Sick of you little prima donna preachers. I, that's why I don't, I don't let them fuss over me too much. I know they're trying to honor my office and they're trying to keep me safe and I want to stay safe. Don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to get no COVID. Just <laughs> keeping it real. But, but, oh, I don't just, I don't like it when a man act like a woman. Sorry. Won't you hear me out? Won't you hear me out? Now, I'm not, I'm not into no bashing 
gays. Jesus loves gay people. So don't get me twisted this morning. We've been too mean. That's why they won't get saved. We've been too mean. That's not what I'm dealing with. Right now, I'm working on you weak young preachers who feel that you're a movie star because you got a little gift. Don't you know God can drop your gift overnight? You keep on fooling around, you prima donna singers. He said, I'll take your voice from you. You better learn how to glorify me with your voice. And when you get up before the people, don't you try to steal my glory. You point them to me, not to you. I'm not here to be impressed with you. I'm tired of putting on a show. I would see Jesus. Can I finish preaching? Won't you carry this for And you may be seated for real. And now we're going to, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to receive. The presiding bishop of the Pentecostal churches of the Apostolic Faith International. They almost call him the only potentate. They stop short of that. And then he walks up there. Carry your own iPad. You ain't no woman. Take your black hands and carry your own iPad to the pulpit. I'm sick of it. I'm gonna get in trouble today. Then you gotta stand over here. Lay the napkin down. I'm too weak to carry my own handkerchief. And you gotta stand there while I pray. Like you waving demons off of me. It's too late to get the demons off now. I'm at the pulpit. You can pray in your chair. We do a lot of stuff to put on a show to impress people. It's time to impress God. Water got, water got to be at 68 degrees. You ain't coming to preach or sing for me. What's wrong with us? Should there be armor bears? Yes, there should be armor bears. But armor bears are to serve and not to be seen. This ain't no show. Everybody look at somebody. Tell them this ain't no show. We're confused. That's what it is. We've created idols. God told me we've created idols. If y'all give me three more minutes, I, I've got something for everybody. You ain't gonna like this. You really ain't gonna like this. You going to the convocation? Who's preaching? I told you you wasn't going to like it. What's the program? I'll tell you the program. Church. What's wrong with us? I ain't going to get much help on that. Everybody asks somebody, what's wrong with us? I come up in a mega church. I grew up in a mega church. Clinton Street, Greater Bethlehem Temple. And we were not perfect, but I thank God I'm a Templeite today. Our pastor, I was born when Bishop Hancock was alive. 
I was too young to, to feel the impact of his ministry. I came up under Bishop Collins. Bishop Collins was sick half the time. But it didn't matter. We went to church. I was glad when they said unto me. I wish y'all would give me five more minutes. Thank you. I'm sorry. What's wrong with us? I want everybody, let's all do some confession. Let's ask each other, what's wrong with us? Lady Robin, Lady Robin, Lady Robin, you know what I'm talking about. Because we were neighbors, we came up in the same church. We didn't care who was preaching. I want to know, is the Lord there? I grew up in this organization. We didn't have no program until about the last 15 years. We just went, we didn't even know how to say the word. We just went to Vention. Where the Vention at? We didn't know who was preaching. Let me tell you why. Because they didn't know who was preaching. Well, who preached Bishop Gates? Whoever the Holy Ghost said preach. I wish we could have a convention and not have to spend thousands of dollars promoting personalities when you should already be in love with the bright and morning star. We need to fall back in love with Jesus and get delivered from personalities. God told me to tell you that I'm sick and tired of it. Monday come around, you should register for the next convocation. Don't matter who gonna be there. I'm trying to quit. But I'm trying to see if I told you everything the Lord told me to tell you. I want to be like Paul when I walk out the pulpit today. I have declared unto you the whole counsel of God. Look at somebody and tell them, you may be seated for real. I'm getting ready to draw the end. Look at your neighbor and tell him the Lord said, I'm sick of it. We sit, we sit, Woo. if y'all tell me to say it, I'll say it. If you, for the rest of this week, please, I'm saying it in love, but can I be stern? But I say it in love, so you know I already know I love you, right? But if you come in this service the rest of this week and you're trying and you're measuring, what's that man's name that was here? Young, because it really don't matter what his name is. If you're sitting and evaluating every preacher all the next few nights, the Lord's let me forget his name for a reason right now. Not, not about him. He's an honorable man of God. You know I believe it because I asked him to stay. But I believe he's letting me forget his name at this moment because he's trying to tell you, ain't no name important but my name. But if you measure every preacher, 
by what Bishop Younger did is carnality. God used Bishop Younger Friday and Saturday. Now I'm ready to see who else God going to use. Then I'm going to pray for them. If they can't preach, I'm going to pray till they start preaching. That's what we do. Ain't nobody like that younger. You, no, no, there's somebody greater than that younger. There's somebody greater than Gates. There's somebody greater than Moore. There's somebody greater than Brooks. I'm closing. Lord, have I declared your whole counsel? The 15 people didn't get saved. Sears is the man. 15 people got saved last night. Sears didn't give nobody the Holy Ghost. And that's my son. And I love him. God just used him a few weeks ago in my church. Quit lifting up the vessel. And lift Jesus up. I'm trying to quit, but the Lord keeps speaking to me. Somebody ask somebody again, what's wrong with us? Go back at me and say, what happened to us? We're confused. Every day of this meeting will have its own flavor. Fifteen people got saved last night because last night was about fifteen people getting saved. God had that plan. But God said this morning I want to save the whole church. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open up unto me, I'll enter in. Now sup with him and he'll sup with me. You got that gift. Don't you let these people get in your ear and get you lifted up. Don't you let the haters, on the other hand, tear you down. Just get in that sweet spot. It ain't arrogant to know I'm anointed. But it's arrogant when I forget who anointed me. I feel like preaching in here this morning. I got time. I'm okay. We got to get back to God. We got to change our ethos. We got to get back to that old culture. I go to church because it's church. I go to convocation, not because of what person's going to be there. I go to convocation to convocate with God. To get instructions for the next year. To be empowered for the next year. And it don't matter who's preaching. Let me help you again. And it don't matter if I'm not preaching. It don't matter if I'm not singing. See, you're not right if you won't come if you, when you ain't on the program. And then, and then you need to show up without a chip on your shoulder. Closing. Can I just say this one more time? These singers make me sick. <laughs> I 
I want 10 breath mints, five sandwiches. What sandwiches got to do with you singing? <laughs> Buy your own sandwich. I bought mine. I like Fiji water. I do like Fiji water, but I buy it myself. If you won't buy it, I ain't gonna trip because you didn't have Fiji water. I can't, I can't preach tonight. They don't have Fiji water. <laughs> Papaya juice. This crazy stuff. We have lost our minds. I got to send for you to preach and, and bring five people with you. I ain't got that kind of money. I'm, you, you want $10,000? Forget you, I'll run my own revival. Then to be a king of a vast domain, then be hell. Take it slow, in sin. Dark sweat. Hey, hey. Now, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, and I'm saying this, look, do you need Angela up here for us to sing? I know you don't, I'm working with us. I don't want the church to forget how to sing. <laughs> this is my daughter. Come stand here, I don't want you to sing, come just stand there. This is one of my spiritual daughters, I love her. She's gifted to do what she does. And I'm not going to ever try to replace her. She needs to be in her place when she needs to be in her place. But she's been around me long enough. I know I can't sing. I ain't tripping about it. But she don't, don't over sing me when I want to sing. You know where I'm coming from. Porter know that. Where's, where's Pastor Porter? Where you at? Porter still in the room? He slipped out. That's all right. Porter can sing. Y'all know that? Yeah. And preach. And he, and he learned. He don't. He sing with the singers. But he know when I'm singing, don't over sing me. I don't. I don't care how good you sing. I'm the drum major. I'm not anointed to sing like you sing, but I'm anointed to tell you what to sing. I wish y'all was understand. I'm not in my flesh. I'm teaching something. Sometimes the choir get up, Bishop Brooks, and they start singing. Pastor Blackman, where you at? Do I shake you off sometime? I say, come over. What you gonna sing? You say so and so. I say, I don't want that. And I'll tell you why. Cause the Holy Ghost told me what need to be sung. Ask your neighbor, you still know how to sing? See, if you have lost singing, the praise team now is a group of entertainers. I don't want to be entertained. I want to sing sometime with my broken voice. Because let me tell you, I want to see the folk like me that got a broken voice. I want you to help your neighbor real quick. Tell them, I'd say, hey neighbor. You may not know it, but God loves my broken voice. Then to be a king, come on, broken voice singers, of a best. Thank you, daughter. No man, then to be held in sin's dark sway, then be held in sin's. Somebody tell them I'd rather. I'd rather. Everybody standing with you, able. Have Jesus. Then in. Defeat. 
this world <laughs> affords. I want this song to follow you home. I want my raggedy voice to get in your head. So you feel compelled to sing it. Tell somebody, Jesus is all I need. Look back at me and say, Jesus is all I want. Tell them, tell them I'm through with personalities. I'm through with cultic worship. All I want is Jesus. Then to be of a vast domain. Then be here in sin's dark way. Dark way. Yeah. Look at somebody and cross your arms on your chest like you love them and say. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords. I love Him. Somebody to love him today. Ah. Why do you love him? He first. What did he do? And put just my On I'm going to leave it alone after this. I want you to look at somebody this time. Don't touch them, but turn to your neighbor and point up to heaven and tell them, I love him. Don't say it if you don't mean it. I because he first loves me. Because he first and cut just my salvation.
don't need nobody to tell you how to praise him when you know who he is. You don't need nobody to convince you to praise him. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, Reggie, I see you, man. Don't let Settles dance by himself. Don't let Settles dance by himself. for a miracle, Jamie. He's believing God for a miracle.